welcome to this week's Oh Snappy Hour. We are gonna be talking about time management. But before we do that, I wanted to give you your weekly shot. So since it's not going to be a shot of alcohol, clearly, I'm gonna give you a little shot of fun and do a little dance party each week. It, it gets me excited, it makes me happy, and I just can't wait to like run the world afterwards. So let's do it. Don't you just feel so much better and just ready to run the world? I do. Okay, so I opened up my um, questioning to my community this week and I asked what they needed from me in order to help grow their business and kind of integrate their life and, and find some kind of balance. And obviously, I got a lot of people asking about time management. So as a mommy-to-be, I've had to balance wanting to sleep all of the time with having to run a full-blown agency and also an online education business as well. So I understand, even though I don't have a child here yet, I know time, time constraints and I know how to plan my day. So I want to teach you. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna go over three things you need in order to be able to plan your day and get the ball rolling. So number one is focus. I'm talking to the ladies who have about three different businesses going on. It could be their accessory, handmade accessory business or their tutu making business or their, I won't, I won't say the name of the business, their eyelash business or their nail nail business. They're doing all of these things and I think that's great. Listen, I'm all for multiple streams of income. I'm an entrepreneur at heart. I mean, I wish I could have like 10 businesses running at one time. But in order to plan your life and grow your business and live the life that you want, you've got to focus. No more shiny object syndrome. Like, oh my gosh, that looks like so much fun. I wanna try that. Girl, that looks like it would make me a lot of money. I wanna try that. So how do you pick which one to focus on? One, which one is keeping the lights on? Okay, what is paying the bills? What makes money? What do you enjoy doing? What makes you really happy? Are you just doing this because it's actually really easy money or because you enjoy doing it? And three, what can you control? So when you're doing these mid-level marketing businesses, I think that's great, but somebody's always over your head telling you, you've got these different levels, you've got, um, you've got a ceiling, you've got their branding, you've got a certain messaging you can use, you've got certain marketing tactics you have to use and you can't really um, create a business message on your own and I think that's so important to creating a successful business is using your personality and yourself and interjecting it or injecting it into the business. So those three things. And then decide what you want to focus on. And then we plan. We decide what three goals we want to focus on for this quarter, this month, this week. So for me, I am gonna be focusing on the remainder of this month and then till the end of June. So it's like a half quarter. Um, I guess it could really just be like considered a month. So I have three goals. I want to one, make $8,000 in revenue, two, launch my course, and three, bring on three new social media marketing management clients, which is what my, my company does is for bigger businesses, we manage their social media. So I have three goals that I want to accomplish in this amount of days. Now I sit down and I break down exactly what I need to do to make that happen exactly what I need to do. First of all, for each goal, I've got like four things that have to happen before, before I can get to that goal. So do that, and then you schedule your time. You schedule the time. So you have 
to schedule the time. I always hear ladies say, I don't have enough time, I'm too busy, there's no time for that. No, you have enough time, you're just not planning ahead. So look at your schedule, look at your to-do list, look at your tasks, designate a time that each of those tasks gets done. How much time you think it's going to take and make sure it gets done every single day. So I'm gonna take you to my computer and I'm gonna show you how I do it and how I plan my life and my business um, as far as the scheduling goes. Okay, here we are. This is my calendar, getting a little sneaky peeky into my life. Okay, so every single morning, I schedule when I wake up, when I eat breakfast, when I shower, when I meditate, and that is part of um, building habits, which I think I talk about later on. And then every morning I check my email and get ready. Um, I get I to make sure I'm at inbox zero. So there are some things I need to get done for the goals I just mentioned. So um, I would write any email that needs sent out for that day. I would film every Monday. I film my videos and then I edit and copy that videos around 1 p.m. And then I have a social life too and I, I enjoy doing theater. So I have Mary Poppins here and this is to prepare for the auditions. So Tuesday is looks like the social media day. I also have lab work to do with the babies and the ultrasound. Um, and then in the afternoon, I'm gonna write the first section of my course. So I've scheduled the time to write the sections of the course to be every Tuesday at three o'clock. I'm not really sure why I didn't go over here. Um, and then we have the brainstorming, outlining. Um, those are similar tasks, so I have them grouped here and bunched. And then that's another thing I really like to, after I put stuff on my calendar, I look and see what are similar, and then I try to keep them on the same day so I'm not switching from task to task. It's a little mind trick. So over here I have schedule a webinar, uh, webinar, create the content for webinar, and then create a free piece of content from that webinar. And then I only block off two days for meetings. So I only take meetings or Skype calls or consults on these two days. Um, and then typically on Fridays, I like to do my Facebook ads on Fridays. So I think next week is about, yep, next week looks pretty similar. Well, that's the biggest part of this is holding your own, your own self accountable, self management. And the next is momentum. You want to create momentum by getting something done every single day, getting a complete item on that list done, or two, preferably three, every single day. You'll feel so good. And you just, it, the, the snowball will just keep rolling and it won't stop and you're gonna just be like ruling the world. Who run the world? Girl, you'll be running it. So I could do a million videos on this topic alone, but I am going to do a webinar and teach you exactly how I plan my days and also provide templates. So if you have any questions regarding anything I just said or something I missed or anything that applies to your life, please leave it in the comments below. Email me, leave it on my Facebook page, leave it somewhere, I can find it, and I will answer it and make sure we plan your life. So, leave them here. And I can't wait to hear from you. I'll see you next week.